Hello and welcome to Mac News for Monday, the 24th of April. It's a pleasure to be back with you on Mac News today. Thanks to Tina Douglas for filling in for me the last several weeks. Here are a list of items we're going to cover in today's Mac News. Please make sure to share this video with members of your scouting family and those in the community that might be interested in knowing what's going on here in the Mid-America Council. First up, yesterday we had our first ever gear swap here at the Durham Scout Center, hosted by the Goshchok Scout Shop, thanks to the eight units that showed up to participate to swap gear, and for the number of units that showed up to, to check out the gently used gear and maybe fill out some of their scouting needs. Um, go ahead and mark your calendar for Sunday, April the 28th, 2024. Our second annual gear swap will be here at the Durham Scout Center. The Goshchok Scout Shop will host. We'll have some more or deep discounts from merchandise in the Goshchok Scout Shop, as well as a number of units that will be selling their wares, selling their gear here in the parking lot of the Durham Scout Center. For all of our scouting family that uses the Sioux City Scout Shop, please mark your calendars for May the 15th through the 19th. The Sioux City Scout Shop will be closed that week. Um, if you need anything during the week of May 15th, reach out to the Goshchok Scout Shop here in the Durham Scout Center. And we'll be happy to fulfill those needs during that week. Last week, we had some warmer weather, which was really nice, which means that summer camp is right around the corner. We're eight weeks away from welcoming the first staff members and we're 10 weeks away from welcoming campers, and we need your help. We have a number of projects out at Camp Cedars that we need to get finished before summer camp begins, from building bunk beds to laying um, LVP flooring, um, and another number of other service projects. If you are willing and able to help us with this, then we need you to send an email to mac at scouting.org and we will arrange to make sure all the materials are already there. Uh, we'll arrange to make sure that we've got uh, qualified adult supervision and um, somebody to explain the project and to turn you loose and, and help us complete some of these things. We've got a lot of things, a lot of new things for our staff and for our campers this summer. Um, some building upgrades that have been going on, but we need your help to finish some of the little things before camp gets started. So send an email to mac at scouting.org and let us know that you're willing to help and what weekend you're available. Thanks so much. Speaking of camp, camp card sales are coming to a close. All of those cards and money that you're returning need to be to round tables in May. Once we get all of those turned in, we will verify sales and we will announce on my honor winners uh, the following week. So make sure to watch Mac News um, the second week in May for the on my honor winners. Again, get the camp cards and the camp card money turned in on or before your May round tables. I already mentioned summer camp is right around the corner. It's in the news a lot today. Uh, don't forget early bird registration deadline is May the 4th. If you're not paid in full by May the 4th, the price goes up to $385 per youth. Um, for Weeblos that are crossing that haven't crossed yet, you can still have the early pricing, but we must officially make sure they're registered with the troop um, at the time the troop attends summer camp. So make sure you get your scouts registered for Camp Cedar summer camp uh, before for May the 4th, paid in full. Also, at Camp Amicaro, we have several sessions that are either full or close to being full. And once they reach capacity, we're not able to add any more youth or adults to those um, for a number of reasons. So make sure that you get your registrations in as quickly as possible to attend Camp Amicaro this summer. More information on both of our summer camping opportunities are in the description below. As we close today, we have a number of shout outs. Thank you to all of the units that tagged the Mid-America Council in their post for Scouting for Food. We wanna make sure that we uh, give a shout out to units for um, all of their scouting activities. So make sure to tag the Mid-America Council in your post of doing great things in your local community and we will give you a shout out. So big shout out to all of our units that participated in Scouting for Food. Not only did you help fight food insecurity, but you taught our scouts some civics, what it means to volunteer and be involved in a service project that benefits others. That's one of the core values that scouting teaches is doing um, 
good turns daily. And this was a great turn that was done on a cold Saturday morning, and in some instance, in the snow. It'll be something scouts remember for decades to come. So check out these pictures while I read every one of the units that tagged us in their post of scouting for food from over the weekend. So a big shout out to Pack 165, Troop 1119, Troop 86G, Pack and Troop 558, Troop 308, Troop 383, Troop 429, Pack 736, Pack 13, Troop 474, and Pack and Troop 461. Again, units, thank you for participating in Scouting for Food and for those that tag the Mid-American Council in your post of Scouting for Food from over the weekend. Volunteers, thanks for what you do to make scouting possible each and every day here in the Mid-American Council. I look forward to seeing you this summer along the Scouting Trail.